Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on 790 The Bet. Brought to you proudly by the Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency. Hey, good Saturday morning. Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray as we roll into our 21st year on the air right here in uh, the spacious studios of Odyssey Radio in, uh, in East Memphis. Uh, Shelby McCall is our show producer. This being the second Saturday, it's a uh, Ron Wong, of course. Uh, good morning, Ron, again. Hey, hey good morning, everybody. Uh, stay warm until this afternoon, and yeah. it'll be everything will be good to go. All right, and then uh, this is Second Saturday, and he is here straight from his DU TV duties. He took time out to be with us this morning. Is our good friend John Gordon, and John, I know that uh, you always like to get a little scattering of different things here, and. Uh, I like to talk to people that I, I'm really uh, proud of and their accomplishments and everything. And he is a member of the dying breed uh, called Outdoor Editor, but he is really the Arkansas sportsman, which continues the legacy at the Democrat Gazette, or the Democrat, as I worked for many, many years ago. And that's our good friend, Brian Hendricks. Good morning, Brian. Good morning, Larry Ray, uh, Ron Wong, John Gordon. Man, I tell you what, I'm in the I'm in the murderer's row this morning. I don't know. I don't know. You're you're on every week with Ray Tucker. What else can we expect? Okay, come on. Man. Hey, this is uh, you know, yeah. We, when you get to uh, spend a little time with Ray Tucker, it takes a week to recover. That's what I'm saying. So I got two people in here today to take care of me. But uh, wanted Brian on because uh, recently uh, just came out uh, a new book by Brian. Of course, we don't come out with old books that's a i shouldn't have said that <laughs> brian just came out with a book let's just put that up I, I new is a record word i don't normally use there's no such thing as a new record okay i'm telling you that that's right anyway. but anyways come out with a book that uh, has an interesting title it has a lot of information uh, that brian will share about his life and his pursuit of the turkey it's called saint tom's cathedral a turkey hunter's quest for his best uh, talk about it, Brian. Uh, the the idea. I know you were sitting around a campfire uh, during the pandemic. It came to you. I'm kind of amazed how quickly you were able to put this book together. But let's, let's just tell us about how it originated. Well, that's that's kind of it. You know, I was at a at a controlled turkey hunt at Cross Timbers Wildlife Management Area in Oklahoma uh, in April of 2020. Uh-huh. And I was scouting, went out on a scouting foray, you know, and, uh, uh, you know, had my camp set up. And I was sitting under a, Col- a couple of Coleman lanterns and just eating supper. And there was, you know, just a nice, cool, windy night. And there wasn't anybody else there. Had nothing else to do. So I put my laptop in my lap and opened it up and just started jotting down some things. And uh, by the end of the hunt, you know, uh, the, the outline of a book had started to take place. In fact, it was more of an outline. It was, I was in it. You were into and, um, it. <laughs> Okay, and uh, end up getting a really, really nice uh, gobbler there, and uh, you know, uh, it's hard to. Do. I, I'm going to go back a little bit farther. You know, yeah, talk, been, talk about this uh, February of 2009. I mean, uh, when your life uh, uh, changed a little bit there, because uh, yeah, uh, in fact, that's the premise of the book. I'm glad you mentioned that. In February of 09, you know, I was. Uh, diagnosed with uh, advanced stage uh, rectal cancer and uh, just really hit it hit it came out of nowhere it really did i'd had a physical a couple of years before that everything was fine and yeah. um, i'm going to talk a little bit about some things here you know uh, uh, to kind of lead up to this but in uh, in november of 08 you know i was i was feeling great and i was deer hunting and a uh, beautiful fall day uh, down in Grant County, Arkansas. And the colors were resplendent and everything. And the, uh, the, the thought came to my mind. I was just really enjoying myself. And then it was like, well, you better uh, enjoy this fall because it might it's probably going to be your last. Oh. And and you know how a cloud goes across the sun sometimes? You oh, get yeah. that shadow. And it was yeah. just like that. I was like, where did that come from? Yeah. And um, uh, Christmas came of that year, and I got really, really uh, – uh, uh, you know, obsessive about finding people to send cards to that I hadn't thought of in 25 years. And finally, I went to my doctor and said, look, I got I got some things going on. And um, uh, he said, well, I need a physical. He said, well, you know, you had one a couple of years ago and everything was fine. I said, no, look, I got some weird things happening. Something's wrong with me. I need to find out what it is. Yeah. So you know, went through that process and uh, and 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 came out the other side with uh, a pretty bad uh, advanced form of cancer. 
And uh, so in 09, February of 09, I'm, 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 I'm being staged. I'm in the, in the doctor's office there, in my oncologist's office, and he's telling me about all the things that I'm getting ready to go through. And uh, he ends up, you know, telling me that I'm going to have a port installed in my shoulder for my chemotherapy. And uh, I said, well, does it matter which shoulder it goes in? He says, no. I said, well, you know, turkey season's coming up, and I need to be able to shoot a shotgun, so I need it in the left side. And, of course, my wife was there, and her sister was there, my sister-in-law, and they were kind of dabbing tears away. And the tears dried up, and they both swiveled their heads and looked at me, and my wife said, you got cancer, and you're worried about turkey hunting? There you go. Said, Look, I'm, I'm going to be alive in April. I'm not going to miss turkey season. And the doctor, he was looking at me, and he said he was a, he's an Indian uh, uh, from India, and he says, uh, I think you are going to be okay. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you had the, the attitude was there, and I know how much turkey hunting means to you, Brian, uh, uh, during your career, whether you're working for the Missouri or the Oklahoma Department of Wildlife, and, and to do this and, uh, and, and, and to put this book together. And I think uh, the book itself, uh, before we talk about it, talk about the title. Because I know uh, when you wrote your column for the Democrat Gazette, you kind of explained that. But talk about the, this this uh, cathedral, St. Saint Tom's Cathedral. There is a place. Uh, I'm a member of a place. Uh, it's called Old Belfast Hunting Club. It's in, uh, uh, you probably know the area near Tull, Arkansas, between Sheridan and, and yes. uh, Benton, okay. yeah. Grant County. And there is a place. Uh, where you look on there, it's in the piney woods, you know, and there's a row of pines that stretches out up this hill. And when the sun comes up on an April and May day, yeah. uh, probably any other time, but I'm there in April and May. Right. And uh, the sun comes up and that line of pines splits the sunlight. So it comes through the, the two rows, uh, the openings between there, just like a big shaft of light, like two spotlights in a V. Yes. And it's always misty there in the morning. And so it just breaks that light up into just a billion shards of crystal. And it's, uh, it's almost, it is, it's like stained glass and it's like that every morning. And so, uh, uh, it was in 2017, I called up a gobbler there and, uh, he appeared at the top of that hill in one of those shafts of light and full oh, strut to, okay. to see the, to see that morning sun glowing through his fan. It was just the most amazing, most beautiful thing I've ever seen. And so I called him down, and, uh, you know, he, he really put on a show. He'd run five, ten steps and, you know, gobble and, uh, you know, display, and then uh, yes. he'd prance and strut, and it ended up getting that bird. But I have killed four mature gobblers sitting in the exact same spot. Wow. I call it, I call it the pew. Uh, the pew, wow. the pew is, <laughs> yeah, and and Saint Saint Tom's is 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 the Tom is the gobblers. And that's so, right, uh, and that's uh, it's Saint Tom's Cathedral. Unfortunately, uh, spirit has left that place, Larry. Oh, and okay, uh, but the memories, the gobbler, yeah, the memories. yeah, the, yeah. The go- I haven't heard any gobblers sing in that choir since 2019, but I keep going to it because I, you know, just have to be there. But that's that's the title of the book is that place and. Uh, So that, you know, that's explained in there, but that's how I got it. And so I felt like, well, you know, that title alone is not going to be enough. People are going to think it's a religious book or anything. So it is. I mean, there's there's a lot of uh, faith in there. There's a lot of thing in here because, as you mentioned, and again, we're talking to uh, Brian Hendricks, uh, outdoors uh, editor for the Arkansas Democrat Gazette, about his new book, uh, which is called St. Tom's Cathedral uh, and, and a Turkey Hunter's Quest for the Best. In this book, you kind of uh, take some of your uh, your many memories, some of the people that you've met during this lifetime of quest for the turkey, uh, but you say through it, it is about life, loss, death, suicide, substance abuse, friendship, mentorship, I'm not through with this, brotherhood, and most of all, redemption. Yep. That, yep. Uh, that covers a lot of bases, Brian, and... Uh, well, it does, and uh, you know, there's uh, when I first wrote the first uh, working draft of it, Larry, it was it was it was just a straight meat and potatoes turkey hunting book, you know, one bird to the next, and it yes. was it was it was like it was just what it was, 
And I sent that to a friend of mine, uh, a, a, a very close friend, confidant, uh, high school uh, uh, classmate named Claire Perrin. She works for the University of Chicago now, but her father, Jim, was a longtime literary, uh, literature professor at UA, uh, University of Arkansas at Little Rock, and I actually was in his class. And Claire is very literary. She just knows she's about stuff like that. So yes. I sent that to her, and she, uh, she, she replied back and said that, you know, I don't know enough. I'm not a hunter. I don't know anything about this subject matter to comment on that. But I think that you need to develop the relationships that you hint at in here. That's and I was like, it kind of ticked me off. Like, well, that's not what it's about. <laughs> yes. And yeah. she said, and she said, well, it needs to be, because uh, yes. yes. that's that's where the story is, you know. And the more I thought about it, the more I thought, well, you know, she's right because turkey hunting is a quest. You know, you start out, you don't know what you're doing. That's right. And you and you make mistakes, and you and you and they're all self-inflicted. And and you know, you learn a little bit, you get a little bit more proficient, a little bit more proficient, but yes. you never really get good at this thing called life. You know. Right. Yeah. You you just learn things, and you and so I started thinking about you know all the things of uh you know my own personal growth as as a as not only as a as a turkey hunter but growth as a father and as a husband and as a friend and there's just you know all these people that have come along in my life that uh that were that were instrumental at whatever was going on at that time in my life and it just seemed like there was a classic turkey hunt that was involved you know in that era yeah yeah and, and so i i, I just kind of wove all of this stuff together you know there was a there was a story about uh this is going to be uh you know we a only got, bit we got a couple tell, but, well go ahead and tell yeah. me we only got a couple of minutes to tell i want you to tell them I, i'll be real brief there yeah. was a guy from the first hunt i went on uh, yes. uh in 2005 when i came to the democrat gazette was a fellow who just uh, became very close uh his, his entire family well, uh, you know, a few years later, we didn't know that he was suffering from depression, Larry, and he yes. ended up taking his life in a deer stand, uh, you know, on our club. Wow. And, uh, you know, Bill Heavey of uh, Field and Stream uh, wrote about that in his uh, December 2019 column in Field and Stream. And so, you know, there's that, there's there's the, the coping of grief and the, the you know, the, the, the the coming together of people that are close to one another to help them get through stuff like that. Yes. The death yeah. of my own son is in the, uh, in detailed very, very explicitly in there. And, you know, it's just things that we go through in this life and things that we go through as men that either can tear us down or build us up. And, uh, just depends on, you know, what, what you grab hold on, you know, turkey hunting helped get me through cancer, uh, you know, I've got I've got this memory of my son turkey hunting with him. You know that that I fall back on when I think of him. And, yes. But it's all there together, you know, and uh, and hopefully there there are things in there that somebody that can read this that has somebody like that in their family that that person they don't talk about that they think maybe is kind of disgraces the family name or they're embarrassed or it's just awkward. They can read this book and see that maybe uh, maybe they won't feel so alone. You know. Well, it's a. I, I can't wait to get a copy uh, and and read it. Uh, tell our listeners how they can get a copy of it, uh, Brian. Before we let you go, it is available on Amazon.com at St. Tom's Cathedral. Uh, Turkey Hunter's Quest for His Best. If you want an autographed or inscribed, personally inscribed copy from me, uh, you can email me at Brian B R Y A N dot Hendricks H E N D R I C K S eight six zero at gmail dot com. Just uh, hit me up, and uh, we'll we'll communicate, and we will figure out how to get one of those in your hand. All right, but, buddy. Uh, and we will have this on my website, lroutdoor.com, and more information. Uh, Brian, appreciate you, buddy, taking time on this Saturday morning. And uh, hang in there, and uh, we'll talk down the road. Okay, buddy? All right. And want you to know also that all the, the information that a turkey hunter wants is in that book as well as all this other stuff. It's 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 a it is a legitimate turkey hunting book. I need to. Uh, we need to talk about my first turkey sometime. You will be. Uh, <laughs> it will be in your, it will be in your next. It'll be in your next book. All right. Thanks, Brian. We got to take a break Thank on you, Larry. outdoors with Larry. We'll Ray. see you down the road. Yeah, we'll review you right. Be right back. <laughs> 